Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Delaney and for today's video we are going to be doing something that probably isn't new. It's not a new concept for a beauty channel to do. We're going to be talking about new makeup this week. No, I'm just going to go for however long I feel and stop. So <laughs> since this is the first video it could be a little bit longer. I'm sorry but I'll try to keep my opinions to a minimum. But if you're interested to see my opinions on what new makeup is coming out right now, keep on watching. All right, so as you can see, I do not have any makeup on. I thought a little bit of a twist would be me talking about new makeup releases while I'm actually getting ready with you. So I am going to start, I'm not gonna talk too much about the products that I'm actually using. I will be putting those in the description box below. So if you are interested in any of the products that I'm using today, they will be located down there. Um, but otherwise I'm just going to be using them and not really saying much about them. So. Hope you understand that. Don't want to take too long. <laughs> All right, so it looks like the first release we have that's on Trend Mood, I actually have with me. So that's actually really nice and really fitting. So <laughs> this is the Milk Hydro, the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. And this is what it looks like. I have the, it looks like a deluxe kind of size or a mini size, but this is, here she is and it's like two layers kind of kind of like some of the pixie mists i don't know if you've ever seen those before but they have the oil on top and then it's separated from the water and then you shake it up and combine it and then you spray it on your face so i got this sent to me through influencer uh, a couple days ago so i've only tried it out a couple times but so far i really 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 enjoy it um but yeah it's supposed to Let's see, I'm going to be linking also Trend Mood. I'm looking and just going down on her page to tell you all about the releases. So you probably are familiar with her. She has millions of followers. Mm -hmm. It is a dual face setting and refreshing spray that sets makeup, hydrates the skin, and provides a glassy glow. And I think those claims are pretty accurate, at least the first couple times using it. So I will eventually probably do a dedicated review for this product, um, maybe in conjunction with another new product. But yeah, so those are my immediate thoughts on it. Yeah, so most of the products that I will be talking about today are just on Trend Mood's page and I don't actually have them. I'll just be kind of stating my opinion on will I buy it? Will it be something that I think is for me? Um, am I excited about it? Am I not? You know, you know the drill. You've probably seen these types of videos before, but this is just my opinion. So I thought I'd put my own spin on it. All right, I'm putting my hair up for this because <laughs> it's getting in my way. Not the cutest, but whatever. All right, so that was the Milk Setting Spray, and now we are going to move on to, this is the, oh, it's a holiday, a holiday release. Are they, are we really already talking about holiday? I guess we are. Weird. Nope. This is from KVD Vegan Beauty, and it is a, what is this? Oh, it's an eyeshadow palette, okay. It, has interesting packaging for what I would think that KVD is. They're normally like very dark and I don't know. They just usually have like kind of an edgy vibe. This is very like floral and gold and white and it's not something that I would have thought would be KVD at first glance, but that's not a bad thing. Um, I know they rebranded recently, so I think they're just trying to kind of find their footing a little bit. Sorry, I'm just patting in my primer. I know that's annoying. Um, so yeah, the color story in it doesn't look anything crazy. It's not really calling my name. It looks like a lot of shimmers and a lot of colorful shimmers at that. So that's not normally something that I would gravitate towards. I like a lot of mattes in my eyeshadow palettes. And then if it has those shimmers, I want them to be like really transformative and glittery and everything. And they just look, I mean, I'll have to see swatches, but they just look okay. I'm just putting a little lip oil on because my lips are so dry. And if you're wondering why I'm looking over here, my computer's over here. <laughs> so I'm actually looking on my computer because I record with my phone. YouTuber problems, am I right? Okay, so going down the line, let's see what next. Okay, this one I'm so excited for. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I'll be getting anything from this collection, but it makes me really excited and I kind of want to get something from it. Uh, this is from Dior Makeup. Dior Beauty, whatever you want to call it. It's Dior, okay? <laughs> In particular, the blush that has the snowflake imprint on it. 
oh my god that's so cute <laughs> like wow i need that i do not like how the brush is included i never use those brushes with my blush so i'm really just gonna i might keep it just for because it fits in the little thing but i'm not actually going to apply my blush with that I don't know why all high-end blushes seem to want to give you the blush brush that no one ever uses. I don't know. Seems really weird. Also, it comes with, let's see, different lipsticks. The lipsticks look beautiful. I like the pinkier shades. Uh, the red ones are not for me. Um, I know if holiday releases are going to be coming out soon and being sneak peeked, I can tell you right now, red lipstick is not my jam. Could not justify spending that kind of money on it. But it's pretty. The packaging is beautiful. I love the snowflake like cutouts in it. Very winter, very Elsa, I'm digging it, living out my dream. But the blush, I would definitely contemplate getting and the other stuff, probably not. But I mean, again, if I see some swatches and I fall in love, maybe I'll think about it. But definitely that blush is the most exciting thing in there for me. Oh, also the eyeshadow palettes, color stories do not really call my name. I don't know. It's just not my thing. There, there's one that's like really cool toned and one that's kind of like neutral and brown. Okay, just not really calling to me. And then the cushion thing, I'm not really sure what that's for. So, I don't know. All right, next up on Trend Mood's page is from Jouer Cosmetics. And these are Blush and Bloom Cheek and Lip Duos. And the shades look beautiful, but they are probably not for me. Um, <laughs> I'm just not really a cream blush kind of gal usually. There are some exceptions that I have shown before on my channel, but as a general rule, I don't usually apply clean. <laughs> I usually don't go for a cream on blush. I just, it's just, I don't, it's not my preference. Um, for the summer, yes. Like I could definitely see wanting your blush to really be long lasting and a cream blush will do that. But especially with the masks and everything right now, like, I don't know. It's just, I haven't been really reaching into cream blushes other than one in particular that I'm thinking of. Um, but yeah, it's just not something that I gravitate towards. And I don't think that I need to go out and buy another one. Um, Jouer does have a really great powder blush formula. So I would imagine that their cream blush would also be really nice. And the shades are on point. <laughs> this mauve like duo thing is just calling my name. I love those shades, but again, not worth it to me to buy a cream blush. So also just a fun fact, if you see, I got this cool little light box thing. It was like 10 bucks or something, but I put my name, my uh, Instagram handle in it. So it's always in my background, just in case you wonder and wanna go follow me on Instagram for more content. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Sorry, I just embarrassed myself, but yeah, if you want to go check out more content on there, please do. I would love to see you over there. Um, but anyway, moving on. <laughs> Next up on Trend Mood's site is, okay, Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. <laughs> I have mixed opinions. Um, I never really thought of Selena Gomez as that girl where I was like, oh, I wonder what she's wearing on her face. Um, I need that. Never really thought that before. Many people probably didn't. But the components and the actual makeup looks really cute. Um, I think there are glosses. Swatches are going to be coming, I guess. So there's going to be in foundations, concealers, primers, setting spray, lip balms, liquid blushes, highlighters, eyeliners, and more. Um, so the, we did get a little sneak peek of the components for them and they are really cute with the little ball on top. I think that's a nice touch. Um, they don't look super luxurious. I'm not sure what their price point's going to be, but I don't know. Like <laughs> I'm interested, but I don't know what I would try. I don't know. Cause the cream highlighter, not for me. Um, liquid blushes, probably not for me. Lip balm, don't really need a new one. Maybe I would try the concealer and stuff, but again, I have concealers that I like, so I'm not really sure. But I mean, of, of course you have concealers that you like, but it's a good thing to try new brands and give it a shot. You might you might find your new favorite that way, so I'm not really ruling it out, but I don't know. I guess it just depends on what the price is because I'm not gonna be paying super high prices for Selena Gomez's name. Um, if I see reviews and there's just like, an overwhelming like glowing review and these products I just have to have right now 
um, I might try it, but as of right now, nothing's really jumping out at me. So I guess we'll, we shall see. Hey. Time will tell. Never say never. Never say never. Never say never. Okay. So the next, <laughs> the next release that's coming up soon is from Morphe Brushes and not going to be purchasing these. I can tell you that right now. They're just lid toppers. I mean, it's fine. I have made my opinion about Morphe very clear, not my fave. And this is not the release that is jumping out at me to go like buy Morphe stuff. So that's that. I mean, the shades look pretty, but Morphe's quality isn't always that great. So I don't know how this would look, um, but yeah. Let me know if you're gonna go do it. I don't know, like, if you wanna do it, that's your prerogative. If you wanna try them out, whatever. <laughs> I don't care. I don't know, I don't care what you do with your time, but I just don't think it's for me, even though I love glitter, you know this, but I don't know, it's just not, not something I need to have in my life, I don't think, because I have plenty of liquid glitters that I really, really enjoy, so there's that. So, next up is a set from Tatcha that looks pretty nice, actually. It's, there's a pore perfecting and protecting set, and then there is a pure and glowing traveling trio. And I really do enjoy Tatcha's products, especially that dewy skin cream. Um, that, I, I think I want the pure and glowing traveling trio just for that. Also, I've really wanted to try the rice wash. I've heard really good things about that. Um, but yeah, so I think I might actually end up getting that trio if it goes on sale because $72 is a lot of money for that but I'm keeping an eye on it definitely um the first one has okay so the pore perfecting and protecting one has a water cream a deep cleanse exfoliating cleanser and liquid silk silk canvas protective primer and the kiss you lip mask and I don't really need the lip mask I don't really need the um I don't know I kind of like to try their primer but I wish it was in the other set. <laughs> um, I'm, I have the water cream, so I don't need that. I don't need any more of that. And I do have a trial size of the um, cleanser. So I don't really need that right now. But the other one, keeping an eye out. The dewy, dewy Skin Cream, I used up the little mini like rewards thing that I had so quick. I loved it so much. And especially for the winter coming up, need it back in my life. There's another one for the Milk Hydra Primer. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Okay, then there's the Trend Mood box. It is sold out now, so I won't really spend too much time about it, but it had the Glow Recipe new product in it. It had um, some Bosha products, some Nude Stick products, and others. So yeah, if you'd like to go check that out, just go out, check out Trend Mood, but it is sold out. So I really feel like talking about it because it's already sold out. Okay. Round two of Barbie is coming up. Pure and Barbie. They've already done it before. They're doing it again. The first one was really cute. Um, I don't actually have anything from that collection. Heard the lipsticks were actually really wonderful. And um, I didn't really hear much about the palette, if it was good or not, I don't know. Um, and the lashes and stuff that came with it just didn't really interest me that much. Um, yeah, so this one, I'll have to see more details about it, but the packaging so far does not look like something that's up my alley like with the kind of chevron look to it, not my fave, but I mean, who knows? Never say never again. I like that it's a collab with Barbie, but I don't know if I like them doing it again. Like they did it the first time, it went well, and now they're like, ooh, let's do it again and make more money, which great business practice, but I didn't buy anything from the first one, so I'm probably not gonna buy anything from the second one. My life is not enriched by it, so I don't really need it, I don't think. But you know, if you if you enjoy it, let me know. If you think that there is a product in there that will change my life, please let me know. Um, I love my girl Barbie, I do. Um, I love everything about that. But as far as the makeup collaboration, nothing is really, really standing out to me. So I will be skipping over that. But let me know down in the comments if I should try it out. <laughs> um, because the lipsticks from the last collection almost had me pure. You almost had me with that because it was so sparkly, but it went on matte, which is crazy. I don't know what kind of sorcery that is, but almost had me with that. Available now online at Sephora. This is the eye cream with goji stem cell and ceramides by Youth to the People. 
I've never tried used to the people before. I don't really know much about them. Um, I'm not a huge skincare person. I do have my own kind of skincare regimen, I guess, but I'm just not as into skincare as I probably should be. Um, a lot of products can mess with my skin, so I tend to try to go for the less is more philosophy. If my skin is doing well, I don't want to do anything really to it. I just want to keep it moisturized and healthy. So if you're ever interested in knowing what I do to my skin, I will be glad to do a video on it. It's just probably nothing crazy. So I just feel like y'all would be bored, but I can definitely do that if you, if you want me to. Yeah, definitely can. My eyebrows are looking <laughs> messed up, but that's fine. It's fine. Oh, also that eye cream is $48. That's a big no for me. That's expensive. Um, if I, <laughs> if I could get like a mini of it first and try it, I would be open to it, but not gonna go out of my way to spend $48 on something that I don't know if it works yet, you know? The next thing is, so this was in the Trend Mood box before, but it's also available now at Sephora. This is from Glow Recipe. This is a hyaluronic serum to plump your skin. It's the Hello to Plum Pump. Hello to Plum Pump. <laughs> Say hello to Plum Plump by Glow Recipe. Why was that so hard for me? I don't understand. So it's a hyaluronic serum to plump up your skin by filling each skin layer with intense hydration. Cool, okay. So it's serum that hydrates. Okay, I don't need it. Super cute packaging though. Like they were missing a purple product. This like pinky purple color. Like if you notice Glow Recipe has like the whole rainbow of packaging colors. And so they were missing purple. So they needed this, honestly. But cute packaging, really cute aesthetic. Not going to go for it because I don't particularly need that kind of serum right now. Maybe in the future I will, but I would love to try it in the future, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to get it right now. Just cause it's not something that I think I need right now. And that is that. Okay, so we did get a closer look at um, Selena Gomez's Rare Beauty products. Uh, the other one was just like a sneak peek, like, hey, this is coming up. And this one is like the full kind of reveal of what the products look like. And I must say, I really do like the component for the concealer. Um, I'm, I'm probably most intrigued with the concealer and um, the blot. It's like a the blot and glow touch up kit. I feel like it looks like it has kind of Fenty vibes. I don't know. Like it's giving me a little bit of a Fenty vibe, but I do have the blotting papers from Fenty Beauty. This is not Fenty, this is Rare Beauty, but I really do enjoy the blotting papers from Fenty and having the blotting powder and the blotting paper in that same little cute compact would be amazing for my uh, for my purse to like bring it with me wherever I go. So I am kind of intrigued about that. Um, the concealer is definitely intriguing to me. I would love to see how much coverage it has. If it's going to be hydrating and whatnot, then it might be up my alley. And the foundation, I would like to try not gonna run out and buy it just yet. I might want wait and see some reviews first. The liquid liquid blush, liquid highlighter, not my thing. Not immediately going to be drawn to that. I'm not gonna go run out and get it, but I am intrigued. I, I kinda wanna see, you know, what this brand is like. So I will be watching reviews and keeping my eyes open, but not going to be something that I just like getting right now. Next up is the Summer Sailor Collection by Kylie Cosmetics. And I'm just gonna be 100% honest with y'all. I am not a huge fan of the um, Kardashian beauty lines. I have actually never tried their products, so <sighs> whatever. But the aesthetic um, is just not for me. I've never been like a keeping up with Kardashians kind of gal. So I just tend not to identify with the Kardashians a lot. They're not my faves, they're not my idols, but also I've just never really seen a product from them that I just kind of like needed to have in my hands. So there's just a lot of makeup out there and if it's not your favorite, it's not your favorite. If it doesn't call to you, it doesn't. 
I must say that I do like the nautical vibes of this a lot actually um but I am kind of worried because it looks like there's a lot of pressed glitters in there and I'm just not a huge pressed glitter person um I have a few exceptions to that rule but it's not Kylie Cosmetics but the packaging is cute like kind of pin up girl like aesthetic but not really my thing sorry you hear jingling he's shaking his harness around he found it on I put I took it off of him to stop the jingling and he found it and now he's playing with it. <laughs> um, okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Next up is the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. When I tell you that I saw the sneak peek on Trend Mood, I went crazy, okay? I knew before they even showed the inside of the packaging that this was gonna be something that was right up my alley. Um, I do have the mini glam palette and it's like that cooler toned vibe. So that's the only thing that makes me wonder if I need this palette because it looks like it's going to be $65 and I don't know if I just need to spend $65 when I have five shades that I don't know if they're the same five shades like in that are in this palette. Um, but I don't need duplicates. I really don't. But the shimmers look so beautiful and it's just it's like my color scheme to a T like cool tone neutrals a little bit of pink a little bit of gold the only difference being if they have like a greenish gold kind of vibe in here that would make my perfect palette. I'm debating on this one real hard guys let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see this reviewed and maybe I'll be swayed one way or the other if I should get it or not and drop the $65 on it but I am definitely almost there. I just need a little push. So that is that. And I do like the Natasha Denona formula and I have the Sunset palette, I believe, the $65 red one. Um, really cute, really like the formula in there. I just don't get as much use out of that one, but I feel like the neutral one I would, so I don't know. So next, <laughs> Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay are doing a collaboration and it is a eyeshadow palette that looks absolutely stunning. Great job, Nikki. It looks beautiful. I really like Nikki Tutorials. I love her looks. They're just so fun and playful and just vibrant and just not afraid to just go for it. I wish I was like that, but I am kind of a neutral, kind of a colorful, but like more neutral colorful. Does that make sense? Probably not because I'm rambling, but this palette looks beautiful. It really does. And I've heard such good things about the Beauty Bay formula. Um, so I'm kind of debating on it, but I really don't think I need it. I'm trying to be really good about my purchases because I don't have an endless amount of income to be spending on makeup. And I recognize that, but at the same time, it's so pretty. Like, come on. The shimmers look so glittery and beautiful. <sighs> I need it. Okay. Y'all, I don't know if this bun vibe is weirding me out, like looking in the camera. I don't really love it, but I promise the bun will leave when I start doing other things. So, okay. Another picture of Rare Beauty. I feel like they've been on trend mood for like, they've had like four or five different posts, which is insane. Like, I feel like you should just kind of do one and then move on, but you know, you might get paid by the post. I don't know. I'm not sure how that works. I don't know, but do you trend mood? Cause you get in coin. I'm not here to, you know, what do I know? <sighs> Nothing. All right. So revealed, this is from MAC Cosmetics. It is a Viva Glam. Okay, so it says it's, she's the newest spokeswoman. So I'm not sure if the um, Viva Glam collection is with this person collaborating or if it's just like a spokesperson thing because it does say spokesperson on it. Um, that they're just like in the campaign and really the makeup has nothing to do with them. Kind of like the Morphe 2 um, collection or the Morphe 2 line with Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio. Uh, and they were like the the poster child, right? On the front, but they really didn't have anything to do with formulation or picking out the colors or anything. They were just advertising. Kind of like that. I feel like that's what this vibe is. Just by the way that's written. But... Whoever she is, she's beautiful. Let's see, Rosa. Oh, she's a Spanish singer songwriter. Okay, her name is Rosalia VT, and she's gorgeous. I mean, those cheekbones are on point. I wish I could never, but she is absolutely stunning. And yeah, 
the Viva Glam collection looks cute. Not really anything that I would go for. There is one mauve shade that I like, but I have a ton of MAC lipsticks, so I don't know if I would, am really running to go get it right now. So she posted about the 21 Days of Beauty, which I probably will do a separate video on. So I'm just gonna keep going. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Friends, TV show, TV series, and Makeup Revolution are collaborating, okay? I don't know if y'all are as excited as I am, but Friends is my favorite television show, as it is for <laughs> probably a lot of you, and no, I'm not just hopping on the bandwagon. I literally watched the entirety of Friends on a loop in college like oh my god I used to like this is so weird I used to be so anti friends because everyone was talking about it uh, or not everyone it hadn't caught on yet to like my generation but um I didn't really watch it obviously when it was on in the 90s because I was little but um so I had heard of the show and I had heard people really loved it and when I got to high school, a few of my friends were like, in, like super invested in it and really loved it. And I was just like, oh, I'm tired of hearing about it. I really don't wanna hear about this anymore. So I kind of like refused to watch it, which sounds so horrible and I don't know why I do that to myself. But yeah, if something's like overhyped, I'm just like, no, I don't wanna watch that, sorry. Like <laughs> I hear about it enough from y'all, I don't need to see it myself. And that's a flaw with myself and I recognize it, but it's fine. But then in college, someone finally convinced me to watch it and I fell in love and I felt so stupid because I had wasted so much of my life not knowing what Friends was. I love that show so much. Chandler Bing is my spirit. He is my favorite. I love him. Just his personality is just, I love him. Like, <laughs> oh my God. If I could be a Friends character, it'd probably be Chandler. Or, I mean, because I'm not a Rachel. I know I'm not a Rachel. I would love to be a Rachel, obviously, but I just don't, I'm not fashionable enough to be Rachel. But I am definitely a Chandler. I can absolutely see that. <laughs> but you know what? That's not that bad because Chandler's wonderful. <laughs> but back to the point Friends and Makeup Revolution are collaborating. That's all I know, but I'm in. I don't care what they're coming out with, honestly. I am 100% honest with you right now. They could be coming out with. I don't know, things that I don't wear eyeliners. <laughs> they could be coming out with whatever and I am still buy it because I have a problem. <laughs> but yeah, I love Friends. I, I have the box set, DVDs, can you imagine? I have DVDs of Friends, the entire show, all seasons, <laughs> but I don't have a DVD player. But <laughs> when they took that off Netflix, I was so pissed. I was so mad. But anyway, back to this, I'm rambling again. It just is coming soon. We don't know when it's coming out, but I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Whatever it comes out, you know there'll be a dedicated video on that because I'm ready. Enough about friends. We'll talk about that more when we see it. Okay, more about the trend mood box, sold out. Okay, so this is a little bit of old news, but ColourPop Candyland collection did, came, did come out. It looks okay, not my like favorite eyeshadow palette in the whole world looks wise. I love Candyland, don't get me wrong. That's very nostalgic for me. Like I used to play Candyland with my parents all the time and I really did love that game. But this collection just is not, it doesn't jump out at me. Like the roller lip glosses look really cute. Um, the little lipsticks that are kind of sheer look really nice. Those. I probably would try. If they do come to Ulta, I might try them. Um, but other than that, the shimmering body powder is not really for me. Um, it also looks a little too bronzy for me. I feel like it wouldn't be my shade. So yeah, the blushes are cute, but they all kind of look very similar. Um, I'm not sure if they come off on a different color on the skin, but they all kind of have this like dark berry-ish purpley pink kind of going for them. And they're cute, but that's just not really my shade. I don't think any of those would be my shade. So not for me, but really cute. Love the theme. 
and I saw that the the PR boxes came with a Candyland game. They came with a Candyland game that was ColourPop x Candyland, like actual board game, which, oh my god, I wish they sold that on its own because I might actually get the board game, which sounds insane because I didn't actually get the collection. The game would be really cute. So up next, it looks like it's from Lime Prime and these are different color mascaras. I don't really need a different color mascara because I always wear black because I guess I'm just a black mascara kind of gal and I'm just boring. But they look really beautiful. That lilac color looks absolutely stunning. And yeah, <laughs> there's that. So I'm probably not going to get it, but, but it looks cute. All right, so next up is from Soul Body. ColourPop Sister Brand is coming out with bronzing balms for face and body. And they're so cute. Oh my God. I've never tried a bronzing balm before, but something about this kind of gives me that uh, Chanel, what is it? Something bronzing, something that Smoky Glow always uses. Kind of looks like that a little bit. And I'm kind of wondering if it could be a similar formula. And it's not gonna be identical, but maybe it could be close enough to be a dupe. Um, the fair one looks really nice. The only thing I'm worried about is the shade range. It looks a little bit on the orange side and for all of the shades. And I would definitely need something that's definitely more on the cool side. But I think, I think one of them might work. I think that lightest shade might work, especially if it blends out really well. So I'll probably just have to try that. The Soul Body Cream Bronzer looks like it's gonna be $15 each. And that's a really good price for that much product. So I actually really wanna get that. Especially for that price, it just sounds like something that'd be right up my alley. I would really love to try it. Again, I did say I'm not really into cream products as much, but I'd be interested. Because I used to use cream contour products, so I feel like this might be, you know, kind of similar. So I'm intrigued, and I think I'm going to get that. The Lunar Beauty Blush Palette is back in stock, and I am so close to purchasing it. I really want to. I've never tried anything from Lunar Beauty, but I, I know that people say that the products are absolutely wonderful. So I'm kind of tempted, but yeah, should I? Let me know if I should. I'm also really trying to, <laughs> I'm really tempted to get one of their lip glosses too. But then if I go on their website and I order the blush palette and a lip gloss, then I'm gonna want the Moonspell palette as well. So do I wanna spend all that money at once? I don't know but I'm very intrigued. <laughs> I, I mean, intrigued is like a huge word for me, I guess, but I am really interested in that. I really, I've heard really wonderful reviews about the blush palette, so I kind of am into it. I don't know, I might. Okay, so next up is from Melt Cosmetics, and it looks like they have Digital Dust Bluo, <laughs> Digital Dust Duo blushes and they are kind of in the shape of like honeycomb with bees and stuff so they're really cute packaging but the shades don't look like anything that i would wear as a blush shade so i'm not really sure about them but they look really cute i don't know kind of hesitant probably not going to rush out to get it but it's really cute not a product for me i don't think but it's beautiful so they come they're 39 dollars too so that's really not for me i must say the shade's not for me and then the price tag's definitely not for me all right so we have a sneak peek for the holiday 2020 ysl beauty uh collection and it looks very cheetah print-esque which i like um i like that it's not like actual cheetah print it's kind of a modern like classy looking kind of cheetah print, which I, I do enjoy that. Um, I like the palette and the way that it looks, but again, I don't know what the color story looks like on the inside. Let's see if she shows it. Does she? I can see a couple shades. Oh, there we go. Okay, so the color story, there's like three white shades and I'm not really sure why they did that. Um, I'll have to see them swatched because maybe they swatch and shift different colors but I don't know. I don't know why they would have such sim similar shades in there, but the palette's probably gonna be really expensive, so it's really not for me. Bite Beauty is also coming out with new glosses, and they're plumping glosses, so ooh, one of them's named, <laughs> they're like fall shades, one of them is named Cider Donut. Mm, I've never wanted so badly to get a lip gloss only because of the name, 
I love apple cider donuts. When we go to Carter Mountain this year, I'm gonna be so excited. That's one of the things I look to look forward to about fall is going apple picking and they have the apple cider donuts and I just live my best life. So <laughs> the fact that this is called cider donut really makes me happy. And I kind of want it just for that, but also probably not gonna get it. <laughs> because I just don't need another lip gloss right now. I have a lot and some of my favorite lip gloss formulas are like five bucks, so probably not gonna buy this, but it looks beautiful and almost got me with that name, I will say. And they're $25 each, so yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not getting that. When my favorite when my favorite lip gloss formula are five bucks, there's no need to spend $25 personally. All right, so <laughs> I'm actually using the Kaleidos um, Escape Palette escape pod palette right now and ironically they're coming out with a new collection and it looks beautiful it has this little suitcase with it and i want that so bad probably not going to pay for the suitcase but i kind of want to at the same time um but they have two new eyeshadow palettes out as well as a contour duo contour palette thing and oh my god i can tell you right now i'm buying it <clears throat> I'm buying it. <laughs> Both palettes and the contour duo that's in light, the light one, I'm buying it. <laughs> because I have no self-control and I love Kaleidos and Kaleidos formula is one of my favorites on this planet. So I am 100% buying that. And the palettes are like neutral, but like colorful. It's kind of like my ideal palette. It's colorful makeup that's also neutral enough that you can get away with it <laughs> on a, at work. So perfect. Ding, ding, ding. They found me right there. Plus I have every other Kaleidos palette except for the one that's discontinued right now because I'm a little crazy and I love their um, eyeshadow formula so, so much. So there's that. And the contour kits look really, really, really cute. So I'm very excited about those. I have the blush duo from them and it's really really beautiful so i have high hopes for that contour kit so 100 percent gonna be getting that <laughs> moving on so it's lunar lavender and sashimi city four mattes and one multi-chrome and one duochrome in sashimi shimmy sashimi shimmy shimmy sashimi city and then in La lunar lavender you get four mattes one duochrome and one shimmer as well okay cool Oh, so the other one has a duochrome and a multi-chrome, and the other one has a shimmer and a duochrome. So you get a cool mix of shades in there. I'm so excited. Can you tell? <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm ready. I, I just need it to be September 8th so I can pre-order these. So okay, Tower 28 is coming on with Shine On Milky Lip Jellies. And they look so cute. I have the Tower 28 Mist. It's the SOS um daily rescue facial spray and i love it and i use it every single day and i oh, i just love it so much it makes my skin feel absolutely wonderful and yeah so i'm actually really intrigued about the lip jellies that sounds wonderful so it has the shine of a gloss but the comfort of a balm with a wash of milky color non-sticky moisturizing and makes sure shop soft shiny lips and it's semi sheer that sounds like my perfect lip product so I'm really really excited about that I think I would probably go for the rosy brown cashew shade or the coconut mauve pink shade mm. honestly I could wear all of those shades and be super happy so but I think I'm just gonna pick up one so I haven't decided which shade yet but I need that <laughs> okay Chantikai Chantikai I don't know how you say that um they are It'll be in a picture here so you can see. There's a trio of eyeshadow coming out. It looks almost like a face palette, but it's not. Um, but it has elephant impressions in it, which I love that. But this looks so expensive. Like, I don't know how much this is. Let me see if it says. $75 for three shades of eyeshadow. Heck no, I'm not doing that. Sorry, not happening. Uh, no, and then the lipsticks look beautiful. These little like hydrating luminous lip veils. They look kind of like the um, sheer lips from Fenty, that, which I really want to try, but these are $48. So heck no, not doing that. This is not for me. 
Okay, so Wet n Wild is coming out with a new collection. It looks like they have the Ice Cream B, Ice Cream B, and a Coffee Cat collection. And the Coffee Cat collection is more of your nudes, and then the Ice Cream B is like a colorful palette with some pinks uh, for the lips, the lip colors. They're really cute. I have actually not tried Wet n Wild's eyeshadow formula before. So I'm not sure if I'll be picking this up, but it's really cute, I will say. I think if I were to go for one, I would go for the Coffee Cat, but at the same time, I have a lot of those shades and other palettes and stuff, so I don't think I would really do that. So it comes with, so there are glosses $2.99 each, which is a absolutely wonderful price for a gloss. I'm not knocking that at all, but just, I don't think I need one right now, so I'm not gonna go for that. And then the, and then the palettes are cute, they're just not for me. All right, so next up is the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Palette. And I am a pumpkin spice fanatic, and I don't think I'm gonna buy this palette. <laughs> I'm not um, I'm not really one to buy things just for the packaging. So the packaging's really cute. They almost had me with that, but I don't know. I don't really need it. The color scheme is nothing crazy. I probably have the shades that are in here twice over. So it's just not really my vibe, but yeah. The packaging is real cute, I will say. The pumpkin pie look to the packaging is super cute. If it's pumpkin scented though, that might be so annoying. I love pumpkin spice, but sometimes Too Faced scents can get so overpowering that it hurts. Like, it's just no, I don't know. The chocolate ones are really nice because they're a really light scent, but I have smelled some of like the gingerbread spice and stuff and it just is so overwhelming. I can't do it. And I don't really prefer my products that go on my face to have a scent. So there is that. That is a personal preference. So don't come for me. This is what I will end on because it might be old news by now but it also looks amazing and I'm thinking about purchasing some because they're at Ulta now. Um, this is the Juvia's Place Nude Collection and it's everything for lips. They have beautiful lipsticks and lip glosses that just look absolutely stunning and I need them in like every shade. <laughs> I have lipsticks that I'm dedicated to, like I love them so much. Like the one I just put on, the Becca Lipstick, Ultimate Lipstick Love <sighs> in shade Sugar is like my go-to. I absolutely love it but I am thinking about getting some of those Juvia's Place ones. They are so cute. The component's really cute. The shade range is amazing. The lip glosses look awesome. The sparkly ones look great. And there's a clear one that I don't know why, but I'm really intrigued by. I really am looking at that. Um, I think they have lip liners too, but I'm not really a lip liner kind of gal, but I am in, I just, I don't know what really calls to me about that collection, but it does. So I'm just going to leave that at that. If I see it at Ulta for a good price, I'm snagging it. But yeah, that looks beautiful, Juvia's Place. Like, absolutely stunning. Okay, so yeah, that is where I'm going to end it here for today. So let's just finish up the makeup by adding some setting spray. It has a powerful mister, so it a lot comes out, but it's really fine. So I do enjoy that. Uh, this is my face. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> but yeah, so that is the look I created for today. Just a nice little soft purple kind of look for tonight. I'm not doing anything crazy. But if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. Please hit subscribe. I would love for you to join my family. I am at 89 subscribers right now and I'm so happy for each and every one of you to take a chance and subscribe if you like my videos and everything. And just, it makes me so happy to share my love of makeup with everyone. So. If you could, if you're visiting and you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would, I would really appreciate it, but you don't have to, but it's free. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you are having a wonderful day. Um, I hope you stay safe, happy, and healthy out there. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. This is my first of this kind of video, so I'm sorry if it was kind of all over the place. And I think I might keep doing my makeup during these because that was kind of fun. But yeah, so that's it. Um... Please make sure to keep wearing your masks out there. So hopefully uh, we can get this all figured out. Yeah. <laughs> but I hope you have an amazing rest of your day or night, wherever you are. And thank you so much for watching. So that's all I got. <laughs> Bye, guys.
close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And 